Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or the connection. As always, it's meant to be general reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. So let's jump right in, Sagittarius. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. Insight into Sagittarius and their person. What can you tell me about this person that Sagittarius is in a connection with at this time, Spirit? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius or this connection? What is this person thinking or feeling about Sagittarius at this time, Spirit? Ah. What are they thinking or feeling about Sagittarius at this time? When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Our connection is divinely guided. I regret not taking action sooner. Ooh. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. So I'm getting you're not really together with this person. Bottom of the deck, I am determined to make things right. So yeah, something happened here between you and this person, clearly. Um, I feel like they could have probably fixed things or could have addressed this in the past and didn't. And I feel like they're kicking themselves about that now. Now our connection is divinely guided. Mm, that's a little interesting to me because I, it's almost like this person, when I, when I saw this card, I thought, um, I know this is gonna sound weird, <laughs> Um, but hey, it's the truth. I thought, duh, like it was so obvious that this was divinely guided, but for some reason, your person missed that at the time. That's what I got with that card. So let's see what we get. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please for Sagittarius regarding this other person. What is this person thinking or feeling? when they think about Sagittarius or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, I lost them. Okay. <laughs> what can you tell me, Spirit, about what this person is thinking or feeling about Sagittarius or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? Five of Wands. The wheel of fortune right under our connection is divinely guided. Wow. Ten of swords. Yeah, there is definitely um, an ending here that your person is thinking about. I don't know if this is an ending that needs to happen now, but it, no, I have the page of cups at the bottom. So I feel like they want to apologize for what happened um, and communicate here. Maybe they walked away from you, um, Sagittarius. We'll see. Tell me about this five of wands. Nine of pentacles. King of pentacles. Tell me about this um, five of wands. Hmm. Eight of wands. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for this five of wands? The moon. I got the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so um, I feel like there's, for okay, let me just, so I got so many messages. One of the messages I'm getting is there's an age difference here that obviously that's not gonna resonate for all of you, but I feel that there's an age difference here. Um, and I feel like someone possibly um, used that to their advantage or took advantage in some way, um, you know, maybe like they knew better, that kind of energy. They knew better and they still acted the way they did. Um, I'm also getting that for others of you, this person hid something from you. They had some sort of a secret, Pisces energy here with the moon, or something that was unsaid or unclear. There was confusion, a lack of clarity, kind of like a fogginess. And I think that's why they were able to take advantage in some way. Take it as it resonates. I feel like they want to make a move here, communicate here. 
Why is the Eight of Wands here? Oh, that just came right out. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so there could have been a situation where this person was already in a long-term commitment or had responsibilities. Some of you, this was like a boss or some something like that. Like someone, like a senior. Um, but what I'm getting here with the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, typically that to me is like, ding, 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 this person is a long-term commitment. Um, and yeah, there's the sun at the bottom of the deck. So whatever was hidden, I feel like someone possibly wants to discuss it um, with the sun. And, you know, with justice is making things right. Um, maybe they feel like this is a way to balance things out. Libra energy there. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? King of Swords. Once again, the clarity, clearing up this moon energy, and then the Ten of Wands. Yeah, okay, so maybe this is something that someone has um, buried or kept, you know, suppressed, or perhaps are carrying this with them. Um, this person is out in the cold or feels a disconnect here with the Five of Pentacles. I'm getting like, you know, there's a loss for this person. And I think almost like maybe this is unbearable for them. Like losing you is very difficult for them or has, has weighed heavily on them. The fact that they're out in the cold and not with you or the fact that maybe their guilt is eating them alive here. Take it as it resonates. So why the Wheel of Fortune? What's this Wheel of Fortune about, Spirit? Wow, the Empress. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Three of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? So for me, the Empress is like the ultimate partner. There you are, Sagittarius, Tempers energy. And Page of Cups, yeah, they, they, they are hoping for an opportunity to make things right here. Maybe in the right time, they can approach you. But I feel like with the Empress, it's almost like um, you are the ultimate prize. And I'm getting almost like you can't... You know, th there was a reading that I did for you guys where I feel like you guys came out looking a lot better than this other person. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups again. I feel like this person feels sorry about leaving or walking away. You know, they hurt an Empress energy. So that that's not an easy... <laughs> Um, situation because empresses are hard to find they are the ultimate partner to have the ideal partner to have um, they have it all there's nothing that this empress lacks and this person I feel is realizing this but why the ten of swords right let's clarify this ten of swords why is the ten of swords here ten of cups Another ten, eight of cups. So we have ten of pentacles, ten of swords, ten of cups, and then the wheel of fortune is a ten. Ten is a very important number here. Not sure why, but tens are completion. So they're ends of cycles, completions, things coming to, um, to an uh, a finality, you know. And then I have the eight of cups. Ten of Cups is also a card about family or this happiness that you get from achieving the ultimate um, American dream or or uh, ultimate like fantasy, you know, the white picket fence, the kids, the house, the spouse. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. There's more here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, okay, two. Wow, the sun... The death card, Scorpio energy. So three cards about literally an ending. <laughs> but I'm trying to pick up, is this an ending that needs to happen now or has already happened? I can't, I honestly can't. I see it both ways. 
Now, it's under I regret not taking action sooner. So it could be that this person should have ended something and didn't. What's this death card about? What's death doing here? Three of Cups. So this is probably ending that other situation. Why the sun? Why is the sun here? Nine of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Ace of Wands and the Tower. Um, Sagittarius, you keep having this energy of a tower that's been coming up in your reading. So if this resonated for you, definitely check out your playlist. So there's probably other videos there. Um, the tower keeps coming up. There's something headed your way in love, for sure. I mean, it's just too many, too many um, coincidences with the tower here. I feel like this person, when I put down the Nine of Wands, I thought this was somebody who they've hidden how difficult this has been. Um, they put on a happy face and possibly they thought they were going to be happy wherever they, they went here with uh, um, with this sun. Um, almost like um, they thought that this was what was going to make them happy or that keeping the peace was important. Seven of Wands. Okay. So we have the hangman here. Uh, there is Leo, strength, Leo energy, and then the knight of cups. So once again, I feel like this is someone that has to w work up the courage to come towards you. And they haven't done it. I feel like it's because honestly to come towards you means that they're not being the most ethical. There's something off about them coming towards you like they shouldn't be coming towards you. Possibly because of a third party, something in the way here. Tell me if that resonates down in the comments. Is this person... W would they have to walk away from another person to be with you? I feel like that is the case for a lot of you. If they're not in a third party, if this person does not have another person um, with them, then there's something that needs to end in their life. You know, because that's causing issues here. Um, it could be fear. For a lot of you, this could be a fear of, I guess, facing you. So what is this person's current energies or intentions towards you? What is this person's current energies or intentions towards Sagittarius spirit? What are their current energies or intentions towards Sagittarius? Well, hidden motives came up first. Mirrored souls. What are their true intentions or energies at this time? Time out and inner voice. Well, these two cards, inner voice and hidden motives, I feel like this person is hiding how they truly feel. And I think that's fun. That that's not funny, but um, what was I going to say? I think that's clear. <laughs> I think that's clear because it's like they need to speak up. You know, I feel like they've been keeping this to themselves. I think in their mind, they're thinking that time is running out. Like they need to do something about this before it's too late. I regret not taking action sooner. Yes. Um, bottom of the deck, difficult decision and judgment call. So this is somebody that really needs to decide and make a final decision before it's too late. Because I feel like time is running out here for this person for some reason. I don't know why, but they feel it. I'm also getting that this Seven of Swords with this Hidden Motives card, like, they would have to hide this for some reason. Hide how they truly feel about their divine counterpart, their soulmate, their fated partner. Um, because there's something else involved or someone else involved here. So where is all of this headed with this person? And what's blocking your connection specifically along with some advice? All of that is going to be in the extended. It'll be a bonus reading. Um, check out the um, link in the description box or um, it'll be pinned in the comments. If you want to know more about this particular person, completely bonus reading to this. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing so you see more videos from me. 
Um, feel free to leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated for you, or you just want to say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're interested in more details on the Stellar Soulmate Oracle deck, that'll be linked in the description box along with information on booking a personal reading with me if that's something that you're interested in. So thank you so much for watching Sagittarius and I will hopefully see some of you in the extended and the rest of you I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.